Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you how to make your very own grapefruit oil. Oh, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the grapefruit oil. Now I have shared how to make your own lavender oil in previous videos, which I'll link in the cards above. And a lot of you commented back saying that it wasn't essential oil. And you are right, it's in lavender infused oil. Same with this. This is a grapefruit infused oil. And it's basically the home version of making essential oils. Because essential oils are just concentrated extracts of like a flower, herb, or fruit of some kind. And it's usually drawn out using a distilling method so they'll have a distil like distillation kind of equipment and that will help to separate the oil from the water like the flower water or the herb water or the fruit oil water so that's how you get that essential oil the proper the true the real essential oil so if you want that you'll have to get the equipment for it that is the little downside to be like you'll need to get that but you can get it at many different places I'm looking at getting my own distilling machine eventually to make real true essential oils I'm so excited save so many so much money in the long run <laughs> but if you want to make just a simple homemade essential oil like version this is the way to do it so you infuse a certain fruit herbal flower in with a certain oil and that draws out the properties of that herbal flower or fruit into the oil and you can use it for many different things so today's one we'll be making is grapefruit now the reason why i chose grapefruit is because i love grapefruit essential oil mm. it's one of my favorites that and lavender and i'm just the list has grown i just love basically all the essential oils they smell amazing i'm always like just smelling them all <laughs> so some of the benefits of grapefruit essential oil is that it helps to promote hair growth so you can put it in your shampoos, you can put it in the oily, oily hair shampoos that I've shared in previous videos. Again, I'll link in the cards above in homemade shampoos. You can even put it in DIY hair serums, in uh, hair masks, which just rub it on straight as is. Now, it does make your hair go oily, so I prefer to do hair like oils, pop it in, leave it on for a few hours, and then I'll go and wash it out to kind of remove that oily hair look. It also encourages healthy skin, healthy glowing skin. It can help with things like acne due to its potent antioxidant and antibacterial properties. So you can rub it on skin. Now I'm going to start doing that because I'm getting a little bit of breakouts happening on my face. So that's what I'll be using it for, just to use as like an oil. You can mix it in with your oil cleansing, like if you do oil cleansing too, mix it in with those oils and it can be just added beneficial properties for that. And it may also help to balance out your mood. It has a lot of calming properties, just like lavender. When you smell grapefruit essential oil, it like just really relaxes you. It kind of um, sends positive vibes. <laughs> That's a really basic form of explaining it to the brain. It helps to relax you. So you can like kind of smell it, like have it diffusing overnight and it can help with anxiety, it can help with sleep, just help to relax and calm you down. Now the grapefruit oil we'll be making today is a little less concentrated compared to your true essential oils but it still does hold the wonderful beneficial properties within. It still smells really sweet, like citrusy too. Oh, yum. It smells like grapefruit, I love it. So to get started all you're going to need is about a quarter cup of organic minced grapefruit peel making sure that you use only the peel and avoid the white underskin and a word to the wise you want to use organic grapefruit because you don't want those pesticides like soaking into the oil because you will just be putting that on your skin or on your body and you don't want that so really opt for organic grapefruit then you're going to need about two cups of a carrier oil like sweet almond oil it's a really good one or grapeseed oil that's another good option as well i'm using sweet almond oil today and i also use a little less of the quantities because i only wanted to make a small portion of grapefruit essential oil so i just used a few tablespoons of the rind and then combined maybe a few tablespoons of the oil just to make sure it just covered over the rind and then that was enough for me and then I just ate the grapefruit afterwards, it was amazing. So to make the essential oil, you want to select a grapefruit that has a moderately thick rind to make your oil with. And also, again, organic. And then you want to wash the whole grapefruit thoroughly to ensure that there's no sort of like chemicals or anything on the outside. Then you want to peel the grapefruit, scraping the white pith from the inside of the rind using the edge of a spoon. And then you can just compost the pith. 
or you can just use a kitchen grater which is what I used that has a very small grating zesting option and you want to grate the rinds over that. Grating is more ideal to peeling since you can remove just the rind and leave the pith behind. Next you want to spread the grapefruit rind or zest on a plate placing it in a warm area with good air circulation to dry. Now the smaller the pieces are the quicker they'll dry and they'll generally dry within a couple of days. You just want to test it every few days and just feel with your hands how dry it is and make sure that there's no moisture left in the rind. It's really important to wait until it's completely dry to ensure your oil doesn't go rancid later on due to excess moisture. Now from here there are a couple different methods you can use to make your grapefruit essential oil. You can do the solar infused oil method or the heat infused oil method. I will link in the description below my blog post which shares a full description of both but today I'll just be doing the solar infused oil method which basically involves just using the heat of the sun to infuse the grapefruit and the oil together. So the solar infused method will take a few weeks to complete, around two weeks or so and it just like I said uses the natural sunlight to infuse the oil together with the grapefruit. This method often produces a better quality oil compared to just the heat infused method which takes around 8 to 12 hours. So to infuse the oil simply fill a mason jar with the grapefruit rind or zest and add in the almond oil until it just covers the top of the rind. Again you want to avoid using too much oil or you will weaken and dilute the oil too much. Then just cover and allow the jar to sit on the sunny windowsill for two weeks or so. Once it's infused you can pour the oil from the mason jar into a bowl lined with four or five layers of cheesecloth or you can do what I did and just use a nut milk bag and just gather the edges of the cheesecloth or nut milk bag and squeeze as much of the oil as you can into the bowl from the rind. Now squeezing the rind helps to extract the remaining oils within. Then you can pour the oil into a small dark coloured bottle. It's important that it's dark and has an amber outside coating because it will help protect the properties within the oil and prevent deterioration as sunlight can deteriorate the properties within the oil. Then just seal with a lid and store your oil in a cool dry place but do not refrigerate. The oil can be kept at room temperature for around 6 months or so. Now if you want a stronger oil, you can press the rind inside the cheesecloth or nut milk bag and keep it pressed between two plates. So you place the cheesecloth on one plate and put another plate on top and then you can just position a couple of heavy books on top of the plate and let it sit for a day or two and this will allow the weight of the plates to press the remaining oils from the grapefruit into the oil below and you'll have a more concentrated oil. And that is how you make your own grapefruit oil so excited i've been waiting to share this video for so long so i'm so excited to share this today do let me know if you make it or if you've made other oils before even your own essential oils if you have a cool distillation machine do let me know otherwise thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope to see you again hopefully in my next video bye